listeners and viewers, I'm Brad and this is Offcut Media. Today I'm taking a trip down Nostalgia Lane for a lot of people. I'm looking at the 1984 made-for-TV kids movie Corduroy, based on the book by Don Freeman. We start off in a toy store. A young girl comes in, even though Corduroy's got one button missing, she still wants to grab him. Please? Why, of course. Here he is. Besides, you don't want that one. Look, one of his buttons is missing. Corduroy has the stare of a very cute little bear, but also possibly the stare of a serial killer. Seriously, you just change the soundtrack on any part of this film, and you have a horror movie. Look, seriously, yeah, bad workmanship on the bear, guys. Come on, you could have given them another button. Why does he think the button's going to be up there? Anyway, Corduroy makes his way to a train set that's above the toy store and he wants to grab the knob as a button. Unfortunately, he turns the train on and... No, of course he's not injured. He has a ride around and then falls down to the ground into a pit of balls. Didn't think I'd be saying that in this video. Security guard is doing his best at acting with no dialogue. Here's Corduroy. Corduroy tries to find another button from an airbed, but of course that inflates the airbed instead, so he's freaking out a little bit. Quick costume change for the Paddington wannabe, and then he's back looking for a button. Five nights at Corduroy's? It's hard to get a button when you don't have opposable thumbs, isn't it? Sounds that it's making with this soundtrack is like he's opening some sort of Deathbed. Deathbed. Say your prayers. Rated R. Corduroy's a bit useless at getting buttons, isn't he? To the jail cell with you, boy. So the security guard has thwarted his plans and he's back down to the toy store. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I better open the store an hour late. Isn't that funny? I don't remember selling him. We could order you another one. You don't understand, lady. She wants that bear. How perfectly those crayons fell to the floor. You could give us some discount for a bear that's missing a button, couldn't you? Anyway. There. Now all you need is a name. Let's see. Teddy, do you like that? Yes, what will I name you? Damien, Barbadook? I know this was a short venture into a video instead of looking at a full length movie. However, I want to focus on a few kids things this month, as I have now four people in my family instead of three. Corduroy was originally a picture book from 1968, and there's not much to say about this adaptation but there are two very interesting cast members that are involved with this. First one being Joe Mantegna, who of course is Fat Tony from The Simpsons, is executive producer on this. I don't get it. Everyone loves rats, but they don't want to drink the rat's milk. The reason I kept mentioning the music was because Harry Manfredini did the music for Corduroy. He's probably more well known for the Friday the 13th movies. This is a charming little movie, and yes, it only runs for about 17 minutes. You can find it in most places. The reason I looked at this was because this was a part of my childhood when I was growing up. For some reason, I do remember it being on TV a lot, or maybe I owned a VHS copy of it. I'm not too sure, um, but it does bring back a lot of memories for me, and it's just, it's just a charming little video. I'm going to be looking at some other kids' entertainment this month. I might not be as quick at getting some videos up just because I will be quite busy with a newborn in the house. Uh, so just be patient with me, I guess. 
make sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below if there's other things that you want me to look at on the channel but once again i'm brad this has been offcut media and thank you for watching Jim! Hey, Jim! Could you let us out? We're finished for the night.